Hey everyone, this is Jen Sheffer, Certified Google Trainer and Mobile Learning Coach for Burlington Public Schools. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how your students would share their Google Classroom folders with you so that you could have quick and easy access to all of your students' assignments. So to begin, you'll want to go to your drive, go to Google Classroom, go to a specific class, and in this example, I'm in my 1516 Help Desk class. And what I did was I created a folder called Student Folders. This is the folder that students are going to share their classroom folders with me. So when I double click on this, this is Josh's Help Desk classroom folder. I asked him to rename it and then he shared it with me. And then I can move all of the students' folders into the student folder that I created in Help Desk. Now the advantage of doing this in Drive versus Classroom is now rather than having access to assignments um, and not being able to see all of the students assignments at once, now I can. I can just double click on Josh's folder and there are all of his assignments. So this is efficient in terms of grading but it's also a great feature if I was to meet with Josh's mom or dad during a parent-teacher conference. So I have quick and easy access to his folder and all of the assignments in it. So I'm going to show you now what your students will do to share their folders with you and how you will move that into that folder. So now we're looking at this from a student perspective on their iPad. So the first thing that the students will do is they're going to open the Drive app and they're going to locate their classroom folder. You can see it's been starred, it's right there, so I'm going to tap on that. And the 1516 Help Desk folder first needs to be renamed. So I'm going to tap on those triple I's and I'm going to tap Rename. And I've instructed my students to make the folders their first name, dash, Help Desk and then rename. So now I'll be able to see all of my student folders by their names. And the next thing the students have to do is once again tap on those triple I's and they're going to tap add people. They're going to tap in my email and they want to make sure that can edit is selected and then they're going to tap on that check mark on the right hand side and now the sharing permissions have been updated and I can access Henry's folder with all of his assignments in it. So we'll take one final look from my perspective in terms of what that will look like. Okay, so now that Henry has shared the folder with me, what I can do is come over to the left-hand side where it says Shared with Me, and you'll see there is Henry's Help Desk folder. I'm going to click on it come over to the More Actions button. I'm going to select Move To, and I'm going to move it into that Help Desk student folder that I created. So I'm going to select Classroom, 15, 16, Help Desk. And this is going to go into Student Folders, and I'm going to move it into Student Folders, and click OK. So again, I can go into my drive, classroom, my 1516 help desk, student folders, and now anytime Henry puts something into his help desk folder, I will have access to it. So this is again a very quick and efficient way to have access to all of your students' assignments. In terms of the view, you can change it from a grid to a list view. You can see when they modified it. Um, and again, it's a great way to show parents the work of your students in one convenient spot. And it's also a quick way to access your student work for grading. I hope this was helpful. I'm available to assist you one-on-one. -on -one and, and my help desk students are available also to work with any of your students who may need further assistance. Thank you so much for watching.